you guys know me, what's the point of catastrophe and the unexpected if we can't learn from it? So I'm going to tell you about yesterday and how I found our sweet little Cody tied to a tree. Right, I wanted to make sure, okay, because yesterday. Okay, you look great, good girl. I worked in bed yesterday until about four o'clock in the afternoon, which like isn't the normal for me, but let's face it, I have been pretty depressed lately, so I've been staying in bed. There it is, normalize it. So I got up to go in and clean the animals, never having thought I would walk into this poor little irate creature that literally, through her cat tree, she managed to slip like a little hole in it and then twist herself and twist herself. So she was literally tied to her cat tree when I got in there. You got your bottom half stuck. I'm gonna save your life. Hold on. I put my phone down at this point. It was very clear I was gonna need two hands. I was gonna need gloves. This girl was at me with her teeth blaring. That was actually how I even discovered her. I opened the door, I was on the phone with my mom and she started her da, 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 and I was like, that's so weird. She never sits there, this is weird. And then I saw the whole picture. So I grabbed my raptor gloves. If you work in the animal world and do not own a pair of these, they're incredible, you need them. I also grabbed some heavy doozy scissors because I knew that I was gonna have to somehow feasibly cut her out. Um, she was so angry, this poor creature. I mean, the tree was the enemy, I was the enemy. She was very hard to maneuver. I realized pretty quickly that I was gonna have to remove her entirely from the tree, so I just cut that bad boy. I cut the fabric, I pulled her out, and I brought her into the kitchen. I grabbed some towels um, to try to just wrap her and cover her because I was public enemy number one. All she wanted to do was beat the living crap out of me, and I don't blame her. She had no idea what I was trying to do to her. She doesn't even know me yet. This whole ordeal took about 15 minutes, and she was just as ticked off from the beginning as she was at the end when I got to return her to her enclosure. I thought maybe I'd have the chance of being the hero for springing her, but I am not. As you could tell from the video I just took a little bit ago from today, she's pretty saucy. I'm literally just checking on you. I'm sorry, I'm ch Definitely channeling her in a Mila.